Hello, it is Thursday evening. I just got home from work and there's no light. I have my windows open. I have shorts on. I, it is warm. And it is supposed to snow in like four days, five days, something like that. And so I thought, well, I need to get with maintenance and have them look into my heat situation and they had and right now it is 77 degrees in here it's off okay and I'm not gonna turn on the air I'm just gonna leave my windows open <laughs> So I haven't really tested it out, but I believe that it works. I think it's all fine. And then the, the smoke alarm, I had them change the battery. Let me just show you something embarrassing that really bothered me all day because uh, we had at my work um, the leadership at the top, the very, very top, and board of directors were at my building today, and these are my nails. Now, I did kind of wear dressy pants and everything. I didn't get up early enough to put on makeup. I'm not an everyday makeup user, so I don't feel like I should wear makeup just because something's happening necessarily. I didn't do anything with my nails. Um, and this week they got particularly bad. Hello. It is... Friday evening after my nail appointment. I this morning, I, uh, I don't know. I felt very, um, oh my gosh, I can, I hate driving after dark. It's only 6.30, but it's after dark. Um, I, I felt kind of, I don't know, it was very easy to cry today. I'm very sensitive today. Um, I, I feel like that's a hormone thing. I really... I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see my doctor Monday and we're gonna get blood tests done and, and talk about this a little bit, so. Hello, it is Sunday at almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Yesterday was a nothing day. I did get some writing done, but I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything. I basically just rested. I woke up uh, Saturday morning and was like, I am not feeling social. I am not feeling like getting up and going to the coffee shop and writing. I'm just gonna write here. And that is what I did. So today I have been cleaning. That is the washer. Um, it's done with my load of sheets and blankets. Um, so anyway, I've been cleaning this morning. I'm almost done. I'm down to the bathrooms. And today's a special day for the bathroom, at least in the master bath. I am going to take this and clean it all off. I'm, I purchased a towel steamer. I'm getting a little bougie, you know? Um, yeah, things are, it's interesting. I'm trying not to spend too much money. Um, I think I'm doing okay on my budget in February so far, in spite of certain 
purchases. Um, and then I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna buy um, this month. Clean all this off, go through here, see what I need and don't need. I also have a bunch of stuff in here that I'm gonna sort through. I wanna make room in this drawer for things that I can put, uh, other things I can put down there and move some things out of the way on here. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm expecting a grocery delivery any minute. Um, before I get started on that, I have been running into these doorknobs all day. Sometimes it hurts. It is not a cool feeling. Um, I think I'll charge this camera up some more and I'm expecting the grocery delivery any second. No, they're not here yet. Um, where's my phone? I think maybe they're not coming. Let's see, it's almost one. They may not be on their way yet. I'm not sure. Oh, my phone is right here <laughs> in the bathroom. Heading to you soon. Okay, so they haven't left yet. Get another trash bag out because I feel like there's gonna be a few things that I throw out. Yeah, 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 sleepy after doing all this housework and so now I am ready to open this I'm trying to find a good place to do that here the last load of laundry is dry Yay for that. Okay. My minnow gummies for my menopause symptoms. Put that there. <sighs> okay, I got my washcloth set to use for this thing. little towel steamer. It's not too big. You know, I didn't pay attention to the measurements. I just knew that I didn't want anything huge. They had large ones for large towels. I didn't, I knew I didn't want that. And I just tried to get something not too big. This is going to be perfect. It's not going to take up 
much room in there at all. So nice. Oh, it's got, yeah, we got the tongs to get the towel out. They're very uh, stiff though. I have to practice that. Okay. All right, I'm going to need some instructions. Let's see here. There's a little, couple of little rack thingies. What do we got? User's manual. Very brief. Love it. Not complicated. Uh, ma -ma -ma. Okay. Quick heating. Light steam off in 10 seconds. Automatic protection against shortage of water. Two-way temperature control circuit design. Uh, making use more safe and reassuring. Large storage. Heats. They're 18, 30 by 30 centimeter squares at a time. Well, I don't need 18, but 12 by 12 inches. Is that 80 by 80 centimeters? <laughs> Looks like they'd have the centimeter thing on here somewhere. Usually they give both kinds of measurements, or at least I thought it'll be fine. So I'm just going to do a little test run on this, get it set up back here. Let's see. Take the plastic off everything. Um, it's so interesting. I'm starting to buy things that I never I've wanted. I like I said, I'm getting a little bougie. I, I have the day in here now too that I set up. Um, now I'm going to have warm towels whenever, so. Okay, let's see how this does. That needs a little bit more. Unplug it before I do anything. Okay, there it is. Unplug it. Ah, I feel steam right there. Here we are. It's, it's only been 10 minutes, so it's probably, ooh, probably not that warm. This is nice. I don't see why I would need more than 10 minutes. You know? It's not very wet. It's it's dry. It's a dry towel. But this one these are good. These are good. This is this is good. 
So it does warm the towels. It doesn't, they don't, they're, this is, this was still dry. It wasn't even a little damp. Is this one wetter? No, it's not. But it is still warm after all this time. I'm just testing it out, you know? I'll try it tomorrow. And see what I think in the morning. So I have my doctor's appointment this morning. I did fasting, even though it's not required. It's, you know, for my blood work, it's supposed to be more accurate. So I need my coffee and food, but I'm going to go do this. And uh, I'm a little nervous about the results, but we'll see, we'll see. And I definitely didn't do better on losing weight. I did my Paula B uh, session early this morning. Uh, there were some interesting things going on there in the coaching, things she was saying and pointing out. that I have to chew on. <laughs> Good evening. It is Monday evening. February 12th. And I just wanted to end this vlog. Um, I went to the doctor this morning and then just went straight to work. I haven't... I don't know, I'm just tired now. But they, uh did the blood work and everything and I should know in a couple of days what the results are and I'll share with you whether or not things are better or worse or similar. I cannot believe. I was just realizing today that um, I will have lived here in this apartment and in this state and had this new job for almost a year and a half in April which is less than two months away it will be a year and a half and that's just unreal to me it's unreal overall I still I still like it I did some journaling about it this morning, actually, and realized that I don't, it's uh, still going pretty well. So I had to check in with myself, you know, uh, not get lost in it like I had, I did before, you know, without even really realizing that anything was wrong. Take care of yourself, check in with yourself, make sure you're on the path you wanna be on or that you are on your way to where you wanna be. You're getting closer to where you wanna be. Make sure you really know what that is. Uh, for now, I'm going to say goodnight. I have to work out. And I have to get these videos ready to edit. So, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.